Today I am really excited to bring you what is the first ever look at the brand new 2024 Citizen Tsuyosa. And this is of course the European Salmon Dial version that I received just a few hours ago, just in time to do the unboxing and the review. But right before you jump into it, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel because this is all what this channel is about, reviewing high quality, affordable watches exactly like this Citizen Tsuyosa. So now let's jump right into the first look at the Tsuyosa 2024. So let's go, let's proceed to the unboxing of this watch and I have not checked it up to now. Let's go. We are back and here it is without all that plastic wrapping it up. I must add that this watch well, it is very, very well finished. I had forgotten how well finished it was for a watch at this price point. Just to remind you, this watch is 299 euros, exactly the same price that it was two years ago. I am so, so glad and thankful to Citizen not to follow this awful trend of bumping up prices stupidly that so many have done. Thank you, Citizen. The quality is still exactly the same as before. Very, very good quality. You see that brushing inside of the bracelet, even that is very, very well done. Very nice brushing, very defined angles. Everything that we loved about the uh, Tsuyosa is still here with the addition of that very, very nice new color. It's maybe even some skin color, I believe. Well, I'm gonna call it salmon. I believe it is better like that. When you flip the watch, you still have the same 80 to 10 in there. I do believe it hacks, of course. It is normal for a watch of this era. Well, there you go. A very, very, very cool watch. I have reviewed the yellow version that I still must have somewhere. I believe I lost it or I got it stolen most certainly unluckily because I wanted to compare it with this one. But as you can see, the main difference is going to be, of course, only that color, of course, of the dial and that Cyclops that is gone. Is the date too small to read? Well, I have to be honest with you. It's quite small to read. And if you're struggling with your view, you're going to have trouble reading it. Hence the Cyclops that they put there, which was useful in regards to that. Besides from that, we still have the same. I'm just going to measure the dial. So you still have a diameter of 40 flat. You've got a height of only 11.9, which is very, very good. A little bit thicker than the Tissot PRX, but not by much. And we're gonna take log to log distance. We've got only 45.1. So yeah, that makes it that this watch wears very well. But if we take the end link to end link, that distance is bumped up to 49.6. Still not gargantuan as some other watches with this integrated bracelet. And the integrated bracelet, it is still the same bracelet as before with these three links with the brushed side links and the polished middle link still reflecting very, very well. Let's measure that as we are in here. You've got 21.7 at the highest point where it meets the case. And at the lowest level, you've got 19. So yeah, it does taper quite significantly and quite elegantly. You still have the pressed elements of the clasp, which is, well, we have pretty much gotten used to it, but you've got three levels of adjustment that I really made use of. The small seconds comes with a butterfly clasp, the one that is coming up in April. And uh, yeah, that does will not have this very nice adjustment. So yeah, some people prefer it in regards to the aesthetics, but you do not have this micro adjustment system. Yeah, as I was saying, you can see uh, the movement, the Miura in-house 80 to 10 in there. If you want, I can make a full review of this watch and I'm going to show everything loom, how that movement performs, everything in here so you can have more information. Let me know in the comments if you want a full review of this watch, even though I have made one of the other 
to use a B4. All right, I'm gonna put a small video of the watch on the wrist. As you can see, it wears wonderfully on my 17 centimeter, seven inch uh, wrist. So yeah, that has not changed. The watch doesn't change at all compared to the previous versions. So if you've got a Tsuyosa or, or if you've seen one, you will be right at home here. The loom is still pretty decent. It is not a watch to have a monstrous loom. That is not its aim. As you know, one of the good points of the Tsuyosa is that it had a sapphire crystal. Let's see if this one does, of course it does, but yeah, so just so there is no confusion. There you go, sapphire all the way. That is very good to know. Okay, so final thoughts of these quick unwrapping of the watch. It is more of the same, but just a little bit different. You see uh, that very nice dial in there. Aesthetically, you win with the removal of the Cyclops, but functionally you lose because it is hard to see that date with that Miyota 8 series in there. It is not overly noisy for an 8 series, which is very, very good. And yeah, the strap, I mean, the bracelet is still great, great quality. You still have the same defects of the previous Tsuyosas, of course, which is that pressed clasp quite sadly, but besides from that, I do not see many, many flaws on this watch. A very, very, very nice watch. And once again, I am impressed that Citizen have not raised the price. Thank you again, Citizen. You make me a happy man. I have bought this watch with my own money, just to let you know. All right, and you still have that crown situation where it's quite hard to operate the crown, of course, because it is all the way tucked into the case. So yeah, in order to manually wind the watch, you have to like do something like this, see? So you can really go ahead and wind it. And there you go to change the dates. Yeah, classic. And to hack the watch, it is not impossible. It is not as easy as with a crown that is all the way out, but it is not as hard as some have made you to believe. Well, there you go. A very, very, very cool watch at a very decent price. I do not know, it is completely lost on me why they did not release these colors, especially this one, on the international market. People were clamoring for the Cyclops to be gone. Maybe they will think about it again once they see that the Cyclops was actually there for a reason. The date is very, very small. But hey, this is what the people want. Give them what they want, and that is what Citizen has done, both for the fact to release it internationally. That is totally lost to me why they did that. In any case, if you're living in Europe, you can have it easily. If you're living elsewhere, I believe you can still buy it, but you'll have to pay import duties and that kind of thing. All right, that is it for the review. Thank you so much. And remember that if you're watching the video at the time of release, remember that we are almost at 20,000 subscribers. And once we do, I'm going to be giving away a wonderful 1963 chronograph to one of my lucky subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, do it right now. And I'm going to put the link of the video where I do tell you what you have to do to be enter that giveaway. Thanks again, and I'll be seeing you very soon. Also, I'm going to be, of course, buying the international version with the small seconds once it comes out in April. So really stay tuned for that. And of course, do let me know if you want a full review of this one once again. Thank you, and I'll be seeing you very soon. Goodbye.